So I'm here with three third graders. And this year in third grade, we focus a lot on multiplication. So today we're going to be doing a multiplication word problem. And we have discussed many different strategies of how to solve this. So these fabulous kids are going to go ahead and show us how to solve some, some multiplication problems. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. So in my classroom, I have six tables with five students at each table. How many students do I have in my class? The way I solved 6 times 5 was I did 6 down and 5 rows across. I like arrays because they make problems easier to solve. I did an area model which you times 6, 5 times 6, and you can split 6 into little pieces, so I split it into 4 and 2. But I'm really good at fives, so I leave it like that. <clears throat> I split the square into the half, and then I do five times four, which equals 20, and five times two, which equals 10. 20 plus 10 equals 30. The way I used to solve this problem was a number line. With a number line, how it works is you show your starting number and then you make a jump of a certain length and you mark where you landed. And you show how you jumped by putting a curved line to the mark and then on top of it you put plus or minus the number that you jumped. As you can see, these are three different models that we used and through Common Core, they continue to build upon those models to get to that next level of thinking. Idaho Core Standards, preparing every kid for success in college and in life. To learn more, visit IdahoCoreStandards.org.